What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and I do have a review coming out for the last two multiplayer maps and the new Blackout LTM which will be dropping later this week. But today I figured I'd go over a new leak that was found in the PC files of Black Ops 4. So after the Tagger Toten patch actually dropped on PC finally, some familiar data miners in the Black Ops 4 community were able to discover that the Pentagon Thief is coming to Blackout. Yes, his character icon and all of his audio quotes are with in the files and for obvious reasons I can't share any of that here in this video or else the video will be taken down but I have a transcript of quotes that I will be going over here in today's commentary but what I also will do is tweet out most of this information and some audio over on my Twitter both those tweets will also self-destruct at some point later tonight before my whole Twitter gets deactivated by Activision but I'm very excited about this information the only thing that wasn't found is what type of bundle he'll be released in or how much he'll cost usually when new blackout characters are found in the PC files. We're able to discover what bundle they'll come with, how many supply drops they'll be featured with, some emotes they'll come with, and some other details as well. But this time there is no image of how he'll be released in Blackout. But what I could assume is that with the next major update for Operation Dark Divide and for the rest of the stuff that's promised in the roadmap, whenever that update comes out is probably when the Pentagon Thief will also be available either within the black market or some may hope that there could be a character item mission for the Pentagon Thief himself. Obviously with Operation Dark Divide there isn't a new specialist added to Black Ops 4, which means there isn't a new numbers outfit to grind for, which would usually come with a character item mission, as we've seen with all previous operations here in Black Ops 4. So maybe they could release at least one more character item mission here within Blackout to close off the season. With the recent confirmation that a Moss Pit playlist is coming to Blackout with all previous LTMs that are going to be shuffled in the playlist, it does seem like Heavy Metal Heroes and Operation Dark Divide is the last major update that Blackout is going to get so with that being said why not have just one more item mission for a fan favorite character here in blackout but this is activision we're talking about so it's probably unlikely and it'll probably cost anywhere from like 800 to 1100 cod points here in the black market but in terms of his audio quotes we have quite a few so the first one is i cannot complete the task restart the loop stop sulking little one we can't always get what we want don't make me do it again let me find my rest this was not the world where our path led to victory little girl yuri do as you ask when will he be free or maybe now i can break from laughter and head why won't it stop what was seen has come to pass there yuri has changed then outcome where are we going from here in previous cycle someone need this my task is not complete revive me the voices say you lose is this the one yuri was sent to kill how am i here gersh is this your doing this this is not the pentagon this place it must be a nexus a great many paths cross here i feel like i have been here before or maybe we'll be going to have been here before so that's just about all of the audio quotes for the pentagon thief here in blackout minus a couple of other little ones that you can actually activate in game using the character interact wheel to say things like hey hello group up need help you could taunt on other people and all of that good stuff but in terms of the pentagon thief himself it's great to finally have a voice behind the character that we were first able to hear in alpha omega through some radios when we actually got closure to the pentagon thieves arc we discovered that he was actually captured by broken arrow at the pentagon after the events of five and was later interrogated and killed by the avogadro himself but as you guys might have noticed from alpha omega the same voice actor who does the work for nikolai in all black ops games fred tatishore hope i didn't butcher that name also does the voice of yuri or the pentagon thief within black ops 4 and you could definitely notice that we listen to all the audio quotes for yuri here for blackout but as i've said many times before it would have been much cooler to see characters like the pentagon thief or dr monty even though they couldn't get malcolm mcdowell back for black ops 4 as playable characters in blackout and also as a part of bonuses for owning the black ops pass instead of characters like reaper and old frank woods i actually can't believe that we got such unoriginal characters for the black ops pass minus the shadow man and the cosmic silverback those were wonderful but when it comes to reaper come on the exact character model from black ops 3 multiplayer ported over into blackout as a free character for owning the Black Ops Pass, even knowing that they would eventually add in the Reaper to Black Ops 4 multiplayer with Operation Apocalypse Z. We then got a prototype model of the Reaper, so now we have two different Reapers in Blackout that you can play as. Both make crazy amounts of noise because they're robots, of course, and we then got a character item mission for the Reaper as well for Blackout. But I have no issue adding the Reaper to Black Ops 4 multiplayer and then adding in a mission for him in Blackout, but then with the fact that we have two Reapers is just ridiculous when that slot for a free 
free Black Ops Pass character for Blackout could have been used for so many other cooler characters. Then, when it comes to old Frank Woods with Spectre Rising, he's cool of course, but would have easily fit in as like a character similar to Sergei, where you add him in either to the black market for a special order, or a free character in a contraband stream, anything like that. But wasting two slots from the Black Ops Pass on those two unoriginal characters is just really stupid, considering we already had Frank Woods in the game from, I think it was close to launch when they added his character mission in. Now let me know what you think of the Pentagon Thief coming to Black Ops 4 down below in the comments section. The only thing that does suck about him coming to Blackout is that it's a bit of a missed opportunity for him to not have made a small cameo in either the classified bonus map or the gauntlet for it known as Deathcon 5. But this has been DK Dynamite. I really hope you've enjoyed. Check all links down below in the description as usual and peace out everyone.